we're on the same server as I played last wipe. I think the plan is just going to be, you know, it was a blueprint wipe. So I'm going to try and get some blueprints. And yeah, I'm not expecting that I'll play much this wipe, but we'll just see what happens. Try and get a few blueprints ready for, for the next wipe next week. Hello? <laughs> Holy. It's actually huge. <laughs> I have no blueprints. Come on, give me something. It's not bad. Not bad. Kill this science boy. Might have a might have a uh, med syringe or something. Damn. Let's see if we can't do a cheeky crank crank room run here. I was actually thinking about building like near the snow, so that jacket is quite handy. Gosh darn it. Oh, that's good. We can get a med syringe from that. Let's go do some recycling at Outposts and cook up this crude if we can. So far so good. This is risky business as a naked, but worth it. See, we just get a little bit of stone around here, come back, trade it for wood, and then we can pretty much put a base down. All right, it's going nighttime, so probably a good opportunity for me to get a bit of a farm in. Dicey, bro. It's so dark. Just wait for daytime. And that's exactly what I did. With an inventory of resources and no base or weapons, I really had to get something down and I decided to build in the snow this wipe. So once the sun rose, I headed out to a snow area south of Airfield in search of a build location. Get out of here. Oh, what we got here? Bro, I actually need a hatchet, eh? I appreciate it.
Let's just get off this road. I don't want to die right now. Oh yeah, this spot looks looks nice, man. Near the road, but also near the pylons. Oof. Yeah, this is it. Just around here. I'm hoping this is a quiet area, because it's in the snow. That's what I'm hoping. Is there even a base in there? Raided? Decayed? I'm cool with that. I didn't get one stone node the entire time. Fuck. Rough dude. Is that an airdrop? Oh my god, it's an airdrop dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Holy. Oh my god, dude. This place is great. Yeah, we can go home. What am I dropping? Let's go, dude. Man, this area is actually really good. Great for a solo. Oh, fuck. I've got my jackhammer out. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Man, that's huge. Getting that Tommy to research. Yes, dude. Let's go. So we need some wood. We need some more stone. Why don't we... Mm, we could just go for a stone run. Up to outpost. Up around the coast here. Do some trading and then just leg it back. And we might as well run the M92. Some of you guys might have like noticed the base I'm building is uh, blueprints like solo bunker base it's like my favorite thing to do in rust is to like try out new base builds think about trying to adapt them to like how i want it keeps it keeps it fresh you know
with a flawless farm run, and the added bonus of finding this forgotten airdrop, it was time to build out from my starter base and get this wipe going. Jesus, dude. Damn, here's oh, I had thirty five high quo. Five hundred scrap. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> uh, poor little fella. What's he doing running around with that with a bow? It's insane. Oh, we had a, a bean can too. So we can research. We can raid. <laughs> we can we can saturate now. Fun like Satan, I think was his name. He like killed himself straight away, so it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit careful here. The greatest. Lots of juice. Oh my god. <laughs> like I was stacked. Yeah, it should be pretty close to the crate unlocking. Something tells me that's not going to happen though. Don't see any movement just yet. Boys are coming.
How's he not down? We got like three minutes in the crate. It's like one minute on the crate, dude. Oh, the f GG. Alright, let's get out of it. The dude's gonna be coming back. Other than taking a beating at the locked crate at water treatment, I had progressed a lot today due to the area I chose to build in and getting lucky killing some solo players with a crazy amount of loot. The plan the next day would be to compound my base and grind towards getting a tier 3 workbench. Oh shit. Dude's kitted I think. Get out of here, dude. It's a pretty good hole.
Alright, we're gonna go flame raid that, that base that's close by. The one that's been there since I started building here. I haven't seen it active, but it hasn't decayed, so we might as well check it out. We just need a ladder. I haven't got a ladder blueprint yet. Ugh. I don't even want to know. <laughs> I don't even want to know how much that costs. You never know, man. You never know. This guy might have played like the entire first day of WAP and then just got busy or something. It's always worth a check with a bit of low grade. Uh, bro, it's already been done. Alright, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Over here. like a vegan. I think it's nothing. A sleeping bag down there. in these other two. I mean, there's not heaps, but for low grade, not bad. Ah, oh, definitely worth, man. Definitely worth. Oil refinery. Let's just go for a run. Go hit some barrels and shit. And we're gonna try and get a um like a little compound down as well. So I can get a large furnace and chuck down that ore refinery that we snagged from that bloke earlier. pretty good man we gotta go for a run to bandit and sell some of these cards we got so many cards all right we're gonna go do a little trade over at bandit sell all these blue cards and do some recycling that should pretty much get us to tier three Thank you very much. That's pretty good. That's a lot of scrap. I think we can do down to rocket launcher. But we might stop at hollow for now. Because I do want turret. 
I want Sar, and I think I want Hollow as well. And then we'll save up for a tier 3. Because we don't really need the rocket until we can get, you know, the rocket launcher, until we can get rocket blueprint. Hell yeah, brother. This base is coming along nicely. And then we'll get it all all finished. And I'll have to go to work tomorrow. And then I'll get offline ready. So. <laughs> and just like that, I uh, became a raid tiger. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Pop that there for easy access. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's pretty, but uh, it should do the job. <laughs> it's kind of cool, man. It's actually kind of cool. Holy... It's a dude. Not to fight if we can. Let's get to our first. MP5 though. How are you not down?
Okay. Dude, I'm I'm loaded. I'm loaded. I gotta get to outpost. Don't get greedy. I mean, the MP5 is pretty good, but it would be nice to be able to loot a bit more there. But my invent is pretty loaded. Like, <laughs> there's not much that I can drop here. Damn, 840. Whew. What? It's armored? The sleeper? This warrants some further investigation. <laughs> 100%. Oh man. Armored with sheet metal doors. Let's go over with a couple ladders and just see what's happening. Man. I get a really good feeling about this. <laughs> about this base. Is that TC? No. No, no, that can't be TC. It's... That is TC. Oh my god. What's that? Okay. Um, well, we're just going to go in here. No way, dude. Okay. Crude. Lots of lots of shit. That is unbelievable, man. I reckon this is their main loot. Nah, we gotta come back and go through these doors, dude. 100%. Fuck it, we'll go through this door and see what we got. No way, it's all open. It's all open. And there's nothing in there! <laughs> there's nothing in there. What do you mean? Why? Why is this armored? Oh my god. Why? 
And there's two research tables. I'm so confused, man. <laughs> well, we got the scrap. That's the main thing. That is a weird ass base design. I'm just going to say that much. Oh, it's only 125. Hell yeah. Ready to rocket raid. Let's go, dude. After countless wins this wipe, I progressed to the point of having all the blueprints I needed to raid with. But having built in this snow biome, to be honest, I didn't really have any pesky neighbors or real enemies. So I went via outpost to buy an LR assault rifle and set out in hope of finding a raid target. Two by two, honey camera. Right? Two by one. That's our target. Let's see we're hidden. This little two by one honeycombed base had flew under my radar the entire wipe so far, but with some pumpkins growing out the front and an auto turret on inside, it seemed active and potentially worth a raid. So I crafted up some rockets and explosive ammo and headed right over. All right, let's do it. straight in dude. I don't have enough of that. Good. Dude he fucking lays me so fast. This is a GG. I need to put down a PC. He's just gonna put a wall in front of the turret. Especially if that's his base then it's over. Turret is out.
course. Dude, this guy had so many doors open. So many, like, one, two, three, four garage doors, a sheet metal door. Did that kill me? I don't have a bag. Closer. Well, hopefully that guy just respawned there. So he'd have a timer too. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. I don't think that should have killed me, man. I think this might be a GG, fellas. This is him. That Tara has saved my life, dude. So lost. Well, let's have a look. Bit of ammo. Lots of metal. Oh, this man's been getting some drops. M39s. Is there any boom? What's in here? Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of sulfur. I mean, look, it's not like crazy. I mean, I don't need the tier 3. I'll leave him the tier 3. I'll leave his tier 3, like, here. I mean, GG's to that guy. He freaking, like, absolutely demolished me with that Tommy first time around. In metal kit, like, full metal. But, uh, leaving all your doors open when you go out for a farm, it's risky business. And just like that, my journey this wipe came to an end. So I hopped back into my solo compound fortress and logged off. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see similar uploads in the future. And I'll see you next time.